guys, I am Nathan, and you are watching Neil Before Sod. And guys, guess what? Pfft, no, I did not get into a fight with orangutan. <laughs> That's next week. I'm coming for you, bitch. In fact, today is my first album review. Yeah, this could be really awesome. And so we are looking at the album Brief Nocturnes and Dreamless Sleep, composed by Spock's Beard. Just let that name kind of sink in. Spock's Beard. Awesome. And this is their latest album they wrote. And surprisingly, this is the first album I've listened to by these guys. Yeah, I just discovered this band last year. Why have I not been listening to them more often than with a name like Spock's Beard? So, because this is the first album I tried, I have to admit I enjoyed the hell out of it. It is a great album. Very solid. But I'm a fan of progressive rock groups like Yes and Genesis and Spock's Beard, which is also another progressive rock group. They started out in the 90s for a little background information. And from listening to this album, I knew I wasn't going to be disappointed with it. So, the first thing I look for when listening to a new album is, well, everybody should be looking for this, is what kind of hook does this album have? And to find that, we look at the first track. And so, with the first track of this album, it starts out with this very light, intricate piano part, and from this part, it basically sets the stage, or the tone, of the entire album. And from there, the rest of the instruments come in, the vocals come in, and it basically just takes your mind on a journey. I mean, it's like the instrumental version of John Anderson, the lead vocalist of Yes, because if you ever saw him live in concert, he would always say weird stuff like, Let's go on a journey. Up there. To which your reply would be, Pfft, Okay. And after the first track, the rest of the album is, like I said, solid. It uses a lot of vocal harmonies and counterpoint. You don't have to know what those terms mean, just know that this album is exciting and magical. So, is this album worth checking out? I say yes. And apparently so does the band, yes. Alright guys, that's it for this video, so subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, like a, the video, build a box fort, because I started thinking about that earlier, I'm thinking, yeah, you know what, I want to build a box fort. That sounds kick-ass! Oh, and thanks for giving 150 views, guys. I didn't think I was going to get that far with these videos, but so far, things are looking good, so thank you, and stay awesome. And I will see you on the next video.